Hello guys, our uh, Apollo Guidance computer is made to work with a uh, gyroscopic uh, inertial measurement unit. And here is the mother of all inertial platforms, the Apollo IMU, photographed by Ken at the Boeing Museum in uh, Seattle. And here it is in action. They first demonstrate a course alignment and you see the platform move according to the input. Then they switch the servo loop on and here it goes, it's inertial. The inner gimbal doesn't move at all. It does not matter if the world tumbles around it, it stays put. Uh, so Ed Thielen uh, brought us a few gyroscopes. Now they, they are from eBay, so they are obviously not Apollo quality, but at least we can play with it. You can get them from eBay in various states of crustiness. Um, the bearing in this one is very crusty but this one is mediumly crusty so I just managed to spin it up so just for fun we are going to spin it up for you so this little fellow uh, needs a special avionic juice uh, 400 Hertz 120 volt AC which we would find in an airplane so I need an inverter which uh, I also have found on eBay so this is getting really dangerous, you know, spinning stuff at 24,000 RPM with crusty bearings from eBay with a unknown inverter. Anyhow, in engineering we trust. So 12 volts from here, inverter, 120 volts, 400 Hertz AC, 400 uh, Hertz is a synchronous motor, so times 60. It will turn at, um, should spin at 24,000 repums. Uh, safety squints. Off we go. One, two, three, go. And first it takes about 4 amps to spin it up at 12 volts, so it's about 50 watts. And then eventually it will get synchronous and get down to a regime where it consumes less, but this one is still slightly at 2 amps to keep it going, which is a lot. Not a young baby this time. about 1.8 amps so it's spun up so gyros are very counterintuitive uh, so it spins this way but actually measures rotation actually this one is the rate gyro so rate of rotation around this axis and it gives you its answer by rotating around this axis, so it use all three axes for different purpose. And demonstration. So I will turn the table and you see how it tilts the gyro at the rate, so the tilt is proportional to the rate of the table turning. And off to the left side there is a little uh, one resistor with little fingers, little pots that measures the air. trying to pull the table back on its own but of course when it's servoed it would be a much faster action This one's the rate 
gyro, meaning it has um, springs that will bring it back to the center. So for inertial measurement units, you, you need an inertial gyro, so it would have no springs, it would be completely free. Also would be able to do 360 degrees. And then, you know, it's, it's too small to and, and, and it would be too imprecise to let the gyro stabilize the platform by itself. So it has electronics that will you know, keep the gyro in its center in a servo loop. And we actually have the Apollo electronics back there. And Jimmy has a full trays of control electronics. So we don't have the gyro, but we have its uh, servo electronics. So we'll try to make it work in another video. But anyhow, that's a gyro for you, a gyro. And so I'm going to spin it down and I'm going to not uh, change the range of the camera. It's going to be real time and uh, let you enjoy uh, the whole spin down and you know, see how long it takes. Kind of relaxing. Three, two, one, zero. Bye bye.
Hello? Anybody still there? Well, if you haven't fallen asleep, that was a good uh, 10 minutes for it to spin down with a noisy, crusty bearing. So, not too bad. Bye.